Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at two different tools. The first one is the Ryobi One Plus Shearer and Shrubber Kit. And it looks like this. So let's open it up. So right off the box we have... Here is the battery charger the, with the plug. It doesn't come apart, so that's one piece. And then you have the battery here. So you put that in there. To take it off, you press and hold both sides. Take it out. And I'm looking at this and it tells you different things between charging and fully charged so we have to charge this before we do anything here is the tool as you can see it has this that comes out and the battery goes in here like that it's very nice and light which is kind of cool I like that I like that it has an indicator this is not charged at all and charged all the way it fully charges all the way up here and it's 18 volts so that's really good or if you press it it doesn't do anything so you have to press on the side so it can work you press it with this finger and then you go ahead and press it and it'll start working. So if you're left handed, same thing. Once you let go, you can't press it again. So like that, that's pretty cool. I still wonder what this is, but we'll take a look at it in a minute. Here are some instructions. Operator's manual. So everything you need to know is here. This is my first Ryobi tool, so I'm looking forward to reviewing more tools for the time being. 225 products. They all share the batteries. So wow, that's pretty cool. It's a lot of stuff in here. To consider to buy the next thing you have is two different things here's one and here is the other so depending on what you're gonna do and we'll probably take it in the backyard or the front yard and see if it works or how well it works he has a nice cover up here and he says right in front grass only so don't use it for anything else so let's take this off this goes into here there you go it locks and then you're gonna put this back with your hand you don't need a tool and that's it Press hold and you cut the grass on the edge to make it look really nice and pretty. Let's take this off. Let's put this one on now. I think it just lights over. Yeah, it just lights. So same thing. You put that in here. Like that. You put this back. And it's ready to work. So you can trim one way or the other. It looks pretty good. I gotta charge the battery for now until it gets fully charged so we can test the tool out. So let's plug this in first. And now let's Put the battery to charge. It 
now it's blinking now it's fully charged so now all these lights are off and this is solid green just like the picture here so if it's charging it's flashing and if it's solid it's 100% charged 100% so to use it you are here already just put on the battery and that's it so if you want to go around the mailbox or the corners the edges you can do it easily so there it is that's how it works now if you have a larger area to work on this works fine but to make it a lot easier so we have this this is the little cart so you can stand up and do use a shear and it comes with two big pieces it's attached so all you have to do is put them together like that now let's align the holes and when you align this make sure that the handle is on the opposite side of the little cart so i have the handle like this and the opposite side looks like that once you have it aligned then go ahead put the screw on there and then the nut so it's gonna look like this once it's flushed all the way then you can put the nut on the other side it also comes with the instructions or the operator's manual and as you can see it gives you a nice illustration here it gives you another illustration of what it's inside the little the, all the parts that are here and then it gives you instructions on how to put it together so let's do that I guess lastly you'll be you'll be doing this standing up if it's a bigger project it's easier to use the, the caddy so let's put the caddy up here it looks pretty cool and now I know what this is for this actually goes in here all we have to do is align both of them together and now it's sitting there so it sits in front and in the back and these two pieces work together and the reason why it has to be connected is because this is how you control it from this side using this side you can't press it and turn it on from here you have to press this down and then press up. so now you can stand up and do it like that so you can cut it this way if you want to go higher you can go higher this is as low as it goes this is as high as it goes somewhere in between it was easy to plug them together and the battery didn't take too long to charge I like how they both work well and if you want to take it apart easy and then to put it back the same way I like how it works it works well together so now let's put it to work once you push the buttons the shear starts and it doesn't take a lot of effort for it to do the work as you can see the grass has been uh, growing a little bit tall because I was on vacation but it's a useful way to make it work the lawnmower does not get the edge around or by this wall 
so this year does a really good job of making it look nice and clean. The final result is much better than before. So I really like both tools, the Caddy and the Shear. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.